Well, Latricia, those, horse, those horses are just like what I saw in those pictures, and it appears someone is keeping them along with other animals, but with minimal care at best. When Chad Flynn first saw the horses roaming free on the side of Whitwell Mountain, he stopped his four-wheeler to take a closer look. Probably about a quarter mile up there, I ran into the three horses, and uh, I figured I'd pet them. So I got real close to them, and they just not healthy at all. Describe them. Um, they're real skinny. Uh, you can see all their ribs, their hip bones, and just eating whatever they could find. And that's what we find too, hardly any meat on their showing bones. But the horses are not roaming around the power line easement going up the mountain like Flynn found. Today they're behind a makeshift fence made of metal poles and loosely strung barbed wire. I tried to speak with someone at the house on the property, but aside from some barking dogs inside, no one answered. I did find some puppies and dogs on site kept in small pens outside with bowls full of nasty green water. The horses don't have it any better. A bucket full of slimy green water is all they have to drink. There doesn't appear to be much to eat either. The ground is bare and muddy with a few weeds growing in patches where the waste is deep. My concern is something, they're just going to be left out there and they're going to die. During our visit, it appears someone regularly comes and goes on the property, but there's nothing to show these animals are cared for, at least on a regular basis. Flynn called us hoping something could be done for them. Somebody that would actually take care of horses to take them and get them back up to health. Marion County does not have any animal services. I called and left a message with volunteer equine advocates, but I haven't heard back from them yet. I did go by the Marion County Sheriff's Office, but nobody was available to talk with me this afternoon. Sheriff Bo Burnett did call me back just a short time ago. He says the owner told his investigator this afternoon they are moving the horses to a 22-acre pasture this weekend. He says he'll follow up, and so will we.